Hey guys and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to be doing some shaving soap reviews for you guys. If you haven't checked out our site, the link's in the description down below. Prim and Prep is all about male grooming, wet shaving, uh, so if you're into wet shaving, if you're into safety razors or straight razors, shaving soaps, creams, brushes, all that stuff, you'll definitely love our site. Check it out down below. But today we're talking about Colonel Conk. It's a very popular shaving soap within the wet shaving community. And with me I have a four, four pack, variety pack. Each of these are 2.25 ounces, so tiny pucks. Uh, they're good for traveling, but if you're just getting started out and you don't know what scents you're favorite or whatnot, the variety pack is cool. So with me I have bay rum, almond, amber, and lime. And I do enjoy all these scents. Bay rum, just from an overall perspective of shaving soaps and creams, is probably my favorite um, of all time. So I'm going to do the bay rum shave review for you guys because it's very popular. Um, so let's talk about the scent. So it's definitely a more mild bay rum scent um, in terms of like high clove scent to low clove scent it's kind of a low clove scent in my opinion it kind of has like a woodsy a woodsy smell to it which I really enjoy um, it is definitely a lot more mild some some bay rums are so clovey that it kind of burns my skin just a little bit nothing that bothers me too much but something that I notice and this does not at all doesn't burn my skin very mild bay rum scent to it so let's get right into loading loading my brush and do a little lather for you guys so with me I have my I have my best badger from Edwin Jagger and I'll just get most of the water out and we'll start loading a little bit Okay, so that's about how much soap I like to get on on my tips, and it, it, they are relatively hard pucks, so if you want, you can microwave them for like 15 seconds to get them a little softer, but overall, loading is still extremely easy, especially if you have warm water on your badger hair. And I usually let my brush soak in my bowl for about a minute or two in as hot of water as I could get, so... It definitely is a lot easier to, to load like that and I do it's fine to load out of these little plastic containers if you're gonna microwave obviously take the puck out don't load uh, don't microwave it in the plastic that will ruin everything um, but you can load out of here or out of your own specific bowl whatever you prefer uh, so with me I have my Edwin Jagger black black porcelain shaving shaving bowl it has three ridges at the bottom, makes it really easy to lather. It also has this nice knob slash handle. I like to be able to control both the bowl and the brush as I'm lathering it. It makes it a lot easier to build the perfect lather. So let's jump right into lathering. All right, guys, so there you have it. I'm done lathering. That took me about a minute. A little over a minute, this, this stuff lathers extremely, extremely easily. Um, nice, nice lather. The air bubbles are a little bit bigger than uh, some other shaving soaps and creams, uh, which is probably the only downfall, but it builds a lot of lather. Definitely enough for like three, four, five, even five passes with how much, how much soap I just loaded on the brush, which should be definitely sufficient. Um, should be fine. So let's do a little hand um, to imitate my face. So, and as you're lathering this stuff up, like your whole bathroom starts smelling like bay rum, but not a very clovey bay rum, like I said in the beginning, like a woodsy bay rum, very mild, very very subtle, but very very pleasant smell. I really enjoy it a lot. Um, yeah, so this stuff should last you like three passes. And if you could see, it's not like the shiniest. So it's not the best for like retouches, but it definitely moisturizes your your hair, softens them up a lot, and makes for a really, really smooth, smooth shave, in my opinion. And although I am doing the bay rum, 
kernel conk review, uh, mostly, all of them lather the same and all have the same performance factors. The only difference is the scent, really. So this pretty much goes across all four of these scents with what I'm talking about right now. But yeah, nice, nice lather, you know. Produces an abundant amount. Doesn't have the biggest stickiness factor, but that's okay. Definitely, definitely clean, definitely a lot. Um, moisturized as well. Does dry out my skin a little bit, and typically bay rums do dry out my skin just a little bit more than other scents. Something just to note. But overall, I can't get away from the smell, and if it dries out my skin, that's okay because I, I moisturize anyways after my shaves every single time, no matter what scent or cream or soap that I'm using. So either way, I'm going to moisturize. Um, so yeah, these four pucks cost approximately $15 on Amazon. They're 2.25 ounces each. They'll each last you about three months. So for the whole variety pack will last you 12 months uh, with daily shaving, definitely. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a great, I think it's a great deal. And there's no, no wonder this is a very popular shaving soap within the, within the industry. Uh, because it works well and they smell great pretty much and they also work for For really good travel purposes because they're so small you can just pop one in your bag They're plastic wraps so it doesn't get anything else dirty and it preserves them and It's very easy to take with you and if you lose one it's only, only losing like three bucks 350 so uh, not a bad deal Definitely check it out if you're a beginner you don't know what scent is you is for you Variety packs the way to go but overall, I hope you guys like my Colonel Conk shaving soap review, guys. Um, check out Prim and Prep. Like I said, it's in the description down below. Lots of male grooming, lots of wet shaving information, tips and reviews and all that. So if you like wet shaving, it's a no-brainer. Check it out. Um, and please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful for you guys. And until next time, uh, have some great shaves, guys. I'll talk to you later.